birds. Yes. Tutu. I'm tutu day. <laughs> Namaste, everyone. My name's Greg Prescott from in5d.com. We actually have two birds on the beach. There they go. Looking for food. I don't see any here, but uh, today is September 20th, 2018. And if you do the numerology, you got the 9 for September 20th, 29, which is an 11, and 2018 equals 11. So you got 11, 11, 22. It's a powerful day today. I'm being joined by my friend Carrie Sanders Hello. today. And she's going to be helping me with the tensions in the water. Power of two. Power of two. Here's the other dead fish. But there are, yeah, there are dead fish that are on the beach. Yeah. And uh, the smell isn't as bad as what it has been. No, it's not too bad. So what, do you, what have you been doing on Anna Maria? I've been... Up in that area. Yeah, um, down at the other end of this area, there's <coughs> Anna Marie Island, and it's the peak between St. Pete, you know, Tampa area. So I've been out there sitting in tensions and doing light language healing ceremonies. All represents our emotions. Mm -hmm. So the devastation that's taking place is really a representation in my in my eyes of you know the animosity and the chaos that's going on in between in others in their emotions. So it's really reflecting, you know, it has a lot to do with the elections or what we are projecting and, and mm -hmm. you know, so I've been just really lightly doing really and calling in celestials and their assistance to help with this water about two or three times a week. Awesome. I thank you, and I thank everyone that's been working on helping to heal the water. Now I'm looking at the watercolor; it is starting to lighten up a little. But what I'm not seeing are any terns or any pelicans, which you know that's one thing I'm looking for is to watch them dive into the water for minnows, and that's our sign that the water's alive again. Well, it, it did get better. And it did. We had the nine hurricane. days. Yeah, and we had the hurricane that hit us or hit, you know, the Carolinas mm -hmm. and that shifted our, our weather and our pattern and it stirred up more yes. so it came back. Yes. So there was hundreds of thousands of fish. There was. Yeah. And they did come back the and they will come back again. Will. I just want to say hi to uh, Rhonda and Jenny, Mary, Beth. Jenny. Luciani. Yashimi. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Nancy. Oops. Phil, Linda, Phoenix, Madeline, Madeline. Phil Lante, Kayla, Mando. Mike. I get the hardest names for the <laughs> I know, you're trying to pick all the hardest names. <laughs> we love you all. Your yes, energy thank you is for with joining. us right now. We're yeah. so appreciative of that and this, this mass undertaking. Yeah. We have a lot of people that are working on this. I was, I was showing, I was showing Carrie what I did with the water, and um, what I have is this grid yeah. set up around a large bowl, bowl, a singing bowl, and I put the water inside the bowl. Yeah, oh my gosh, it's so amazing. It just goes around and just the vibrations, you can see the water as it's like taking on these high vibrations. It just starts bubbling even more, and <laughs> you know, just so blessed and high vibrations. And even just a little bit of that water, Greg, it's gonna make such a big difference. Yes. The intention is, is really, truly a big deal. I agree. Yeah. I've got this um, grid that's set up around the singing bowl, mm -hmm. starting out with a quartz crystal pointing into a selenite heart, and then, uh, not selenite. Um, shungite. Shungite heart, and then selenite pointing up to other crystals that lead around the bowl. And then uh, while the ozone is going in the water, right. putting in that uh, extra energy uh, with love and intention. And then, so we got the ozone water, high alkaline vibrations, water. Alkaline high vibrations, alkaline water. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Singing bowls, All gemstones, everything. Yes. So that's what I'm trying to do. To... And then good old fashioned love. Yes. <laughs> that, that's the most powerful thing that we can do. And like thing. I said, when, whenever I'm pouring that water in to the gulf, yeah, make sure that you put that. Which is, it's okay, it's okay. I'm not afraid of the water. I'm not afraid of what's happening. No. At all. No, it's we're safe and protected. We're safe, we're protected. I just won't swim in it right now. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, yeah, right, because we have crevices that, you know, things can sneak into. We don't need any extra. Yes. Yeah, but 
still, just don't be afraid of what's taking place. It's, it's truly just a representation of people's emotions, the waters being tainted emotionally, yeah. feeling re like neglected, rejected, dirty. You know, it's, it's all of that stirring up and it's projected through our waters. Yeah, yeah. You know, we're, as a collective, a, con a conscious collective, we see the fear that it's taking place, at least in the United States, with you know what's going on between our politicians and our environments and the change in weather. This again, like I said, is the ocean that represents our emotions as a collective, conscious and unconscious. And I'm so, sure this is a global thing as well, not just yeah. here in the United States, but there's a lot of cleansing that needs to be going on within all of right. us, and this is part of the purging process. But you know, America is the telenovela, right? <laughs> oh, okay. So, I just a quick hi to everyone that joined. Real quick, I'm, I'm being joined myself today by my friend Carrie Sanders. And uh, so, just a quick update. The beach is pretty empty. Uh, the smell is there, but very faintly. Yeah, uh, The water is clearing up a little, as you can see. But there are dead fish on the beach. Uh, there are no pelicans, no turns, there's no light. Uh, so, oh, there's a turn right there. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see him uh, in the camera, but he's like right up there somewhere. Sandpiper? Oh, that, that, oh yeah, we saw a couple sandpipers. Yeah. But that turn is looking for minnows, greenies, greenbacks. So that's what I look for. It's like one of the first things I do every day is watch the water and see what the birds are doing. There, there goes one, a little um, sandpiper. Yeah, little guy. I the love, dee -dee 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 -dee. yeah, the dee -dee deedles. Yes, when they when they walk the beach, they walk so fast, their legs should be banking this sound. <laughs> dee -dee 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 -dee. <laughs> deedles. That's what my daughter and I call them. Dee -dee 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 -dee. So, let's grab that water and uh, get some intentions going on here. Carrie's gonna go get it. The wind is blowing out of the west, surprisingly, and uh, I'm, I'm not seeing dead fish flo floating in. Usually when it blows out of the west, um, there's there's usually a stench involved. So this is a promising sign. Yeah, right? Thank you. Can I hold that? Can I hold ah, got it. So you're gonna be helping. Oh, yeah. oh, before we, here's something really uh, interesting. some light language right now? Not yet. I want what I want you to do is share the news with what you told me about October sixth. Check this out, everyone. Okay, so I've been. Um, I'm not one to jump and, and just say what what I'm what I'm hearing from my guys. I like to have extra confirmation to make sure I'm not just jumping the gun more say. So um, and today's a perfect day to do this on a two two day. Two right? two. Yep. And all this confirmation, just finishing with the T square. All right. And, and, and anyway, that's astrology, but. October 6th through the 17th is when I've seen the, the plasma coming to the, the earth and the event. the event. This is the event date. So from the 6th to the 17th, they give you an 11 day gap. So it's 11 days that will be out without power and, and, and really just going inward and embodying bliss and love and light. And, you know, take this with a grain of salt with your, with your, um, how you feel about it but and my guides have been telling me it's the 6th through the 17th of October so I'm really excited I was <laughs> super excited just to come out and be able to be like look this is what my guidance is saying you know but if you want you absolutely discern 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 you know but definitely have extra water on hand and you know just be ready for mm -hmm. the shift in this event because it's really gonna happen celestial contact the whole nine it is on people. This is no joke. This is Starseed Revelation. This is a new world. This is the new world. We are bringing our vibration to here to create and new technologies. That are, they're not really new. They've been here. But the Celestials are embodying that we're here. We know what we're here for and our purpose. And yes, but October 16th, 6th through the 17th. That is the date that I've been given by my guys. I love it. How exciting is that? Uh, somebody was asking what is that hovering it was a helicopter that was in the background um, so yeah that's really cool now um, what we're gonna do today is a little different than what I've done in the past is uh, I've got the water it's all energy filled and charged but today we're gonna incorporate star language 
and what kind of language is, is this from or just will this you know? My, I'm a Venusian. Uh -huh. I'm here on behalf of the Venusian Council, the Venus Council of Light. And right, this is my native tongue. And I am an original creator of this universe and this earth. So okay. it's a very intoned um, Gaian sound. This is my native tongue. Uh -huh. So it's more, it sounds shamanistic, but this is Gaia that okay. comes through me and speaks. It's more, more tribal. So it's more it's natural fun. to you than English is. English, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's fascinating. Okay. And then there is like I do have other celestials that do time through whenever they whenever their presence is needed. Uh huh. So what I'm going to be doing is pouring the water, the ozone alkaline charged water in here, and I want you guys going to be joined by Carrie, and I want you guys to put that loving healing energy in the water while we. Um, let me just first say some ho'oponopono. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. Thank you. Do you hear the reverberation coming from? Yes, I do. <laughs> We're actually going to be toning yes. um, after this, doing a little We're toning. Excited. Yeah, so looking forward to that. Um, but that's that's our Good update. Life. That was awesome. Thank, Thank you so you. much for doing that. Yeah, I, just... I love hearing light language. It's just so fascinating to me. It's this opening up to more than what you can fathom and embodying that with authenticity, just heart. Can you basically tell the people watching what you said in light language? I said, come through me, work through me. I am you, you are me. As one, we clear, we hold space, we love for all that is shown. I embrace you, the water. And I love you. Awesome. It was, yeah, that was the Beautiful. message. Awesome. Thank you so much. That was a cool message, huh? How about that for a treat for a beach update? You're not gonna get that very often. I don't know if scooter up, uh, scooter of the beach up there did light language today, but I doubt it. 
Love you, brother, though. Thank you for doing that, though. So, uh, anyway, I'm just gonna give a quick update for those who are tuning in late. Um, my name's Greg from In5D.com. I'm with Carrie Sanders. Quirky Cosmo. The Quirky Cosmo uh, on Facebook and on YouTube. And on YouTube, yeah. Yep. So my videos have healing properties in them. Whenever I do, um, you can go to my, my YouTube channel. And if you're looking for healing, um, absolutely the light language, I have the gift of instantaneous healing. Um, I have been blessed to be on this earth to bring that to the humanity and to self. So if you're looking for your healing, go ahead and check out my YouTube channel and you yes. know, may the healing be with you. Awesome, thank you. And uh, so we came out here, we uh, poured energized ozone alkaline water in, Carrie did some amazing light language uh, while we all put Ho'oponopono into the water. The water does look a little bit clearer today. Yeah, starting to clear up a little. There are a couple dead beach, uh, dead few, not more than a couple, there are a few dead fish on the beach, but not as bad as what it was um, in, in the past week. And. Um, what else? Uh, no terns, no seagulls diving into the water, but we did see a couple fish or a couple birds in the area. So they are starting to return a little. Um, and that's that's about it. Oh, the smell. There's no uh, little not smell. Bad. It's not that's it's not it. horrible. No. You could actually hang out on the beach if you wanted to. We have some bystanders and pedestrians over here. Yes, there are a few people out. But that's it. <laughs> There they are. <laughs> Those are the people. And us. Yes. So. Anyway. We appreciate the whole thing. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I don't know if I can get that message back. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway. I accidentally paused the video, but we're going to be signing off anyway. Um, I want to thank Carrie for joining me. Uh, today and helping me put in that energy and doing the light language. It's absolutely amazing, wasn't it? So yeah, feel free to replay that and listen to it and keep putting that energy into the water like we're doing here. Even uh, when you're taking a bath, all waters go back to the ocean. So whenever you're in the bath, just sing and turn on some good music <laughs> and jump and jive. Because <laughs> the water's going to thrive. Yep, yep. And uh, so yeah, that, that's going to wrap it up for today. And, uh, I'm very grateful that yeah. Carrie joined me and um, I'm so grateful that all of you joined us as yeah. well. So until the next time, this is Greg from in 5 Carrie and Sanders with Porky Cosmo. All right. Peace. Actually, it's really nice. Yeah.